There's gonna be rubber underneath. It's gonna last way longer for you, skate super well. What is up my friends? My name is Levi, this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding. And today we're doing a first look at the Gilbert Crockett highs with the white and the green stripe. Basically, Gilbert Crockett has had a couple low top shoes and this is his first high top shoe. A major cool thing is that this is designed to all the specifications that Gilbert Crockett wanted to use and do to this shoe. So you know when you're skating this shoe, you're skating a shoe that is designed by a pro skater for you. First, we're gonna talk about the look, then we'll get into the tech. At first look, it kind of looks like a boxing shoe. It's got a deconstructed top, so it's super like mushy but really comfortable on top, which is kind of sick for the silhouette and the way it looks. The tongue kind of sucks right up in there, or if you're a G, you could rock the tongue forward. The cool thing is the mixture of textiles that are on it. It has like this nylon canvas that's all through the heel, basically all the areas where you're not gonna rip and skate, and then there's heavy duty leather in the toe cap and where the eyelets are along here. Uh, for the stripe, it is leather as well. Because it's leather at the front and kind of that canvas nylon at the back, it actually makes it lightweight. Because it's not all leather, you don't have the weight of a huge bulky leather shoe. It's also not gonna mush right out. There's some firm structure in the heel here, keeping it straight up and down. Little tiny things, even like this, if you look really close, it's not just straight up at the back. It dips in, following your Achilles and hugging your heel super well. Now let's get into the tech. First up, we're looking at the waffle cup sole. The sick thing about Waffle Cup is anyone who's looking for a step up from the skate version of the Valk soles but is not quite ready for a full on cup, the Waffle Cup is the perfect hybrid. Enough protection, perfect board feel, it lasts a very long time while still being insanely grippy. This sole has been super popular for us and other shops, especially when people say, I don't really like skating vans, they hurt my feet or whatever other reason they might have. They put this on and when they hit the Waffle Cup sole, they're super happy with it. The Kyle Walker shoes, the ones and twos, both have a waffle cup on it as well. Next for tech is the Dura cap. So under the high wear areas, definitely around the toe under this leather hit right here is gonna be a thin rubber layer. So when you wear through this leather, there's gonna be rubber underneath making it last long so you're not ripping into your feet. It's gonna last way longer for you, skate super well. Next up is the Pop Cush insole. It's the latest and greatest for insoles from Vans. It's super popular. Again, tons of board feel with great heel protection while hugging your foot super well without being too constrictive or too hard. Definitely a step up from skating on the flat hard ground with thin, thin insoles while still giving you great board feel. There's some other basic stuff. We have the tongue straps here so your tongue's not gonna fall underneath here like they would on say on Authentic and you're gonna lose the tongue underneath there. It's gonna stay up top. They have straps all along the tongue to run your laces through to keep the tongue snug to the top of the shoe. As well, there's breathable holes on the inside here, notched out with eyelets, allowing for some breathability so you're not just a hot, sweaty, stinky foot mess. Uh, stinky, smelly feet. One thing that's interesting on a lot of the Vans skate shoes, it has the checkerboard tab. This one still does but they flipped it. So the checkerboard is actually facing in and the Vans is facing out. Usually it's the other way. Again, that's just a style difference. That checkerboard tab shows that it's made for skateboarding. It can be worn around the streets like a casual shoe, but it is made to be skated and it will hold up. Overall, it's a perfect non-bulky high top shoe with a lot of cushioning in the sole. It might be a good alternative if you're switching from skate highs, but you need a bit more around your foot area for protection. This would be a great alternative. You could wear this with a fat pair of Dickies or also some skinny pants because of the way it meets the ankle. It's gonna look dope either way. Let us know what you think in the comments below and what colorway should they put out next in the Gilbert Crockett highs. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Levi, this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding. And you just watched a first look at the Gilbert Crockett highs. As always, if you guys like the content that we're putting out, like, subscribe, and comment. It is the best way for us to keep giving you what you love to watch. And stay out of the malls, shop at your local skate shop. Stay tuned for comment of the week. Oh, we got us!
spicy one for comment of the week. It is my dog, B1 Bout 2 Jam 3. That is my man. He said, Levi looks like Sheckler. You said it right. I'm just as hot as that guy, and I have my name tattooed on my back, just like him. Guys, if you go to our YouTube page and then hit the community tab, we're gonna do a poll. Who do I look like the most? Or head over to our Instagram, at Shredshop. We're gonna do a poll on there too. Who do I look like the most? Make sure you let us know so that I can call you guys out and do comment of the week. All right, see you freaks, peace.